Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now, is this the best House of Commons quality joke of the year? All they do is say the art of telling jokes is in the timing, and in PMQs last week, Twickenham's Liberal Democrats MP, Manera Wilson, wanted to ask a serious question to our out-of-touch Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, but added a little comedic humour to start off with. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm... I'm... I'm sure members opposite felt a certain sense of deja vu watching the Welsh defence during last night's match. <laughs> After all, they know what it feels like to uh, have Marcus Rashford run rings round them. Mr Speaker, off the pitch, Marcus Rashford has been a tireless campaigner on child hunger, yeah. so uh, in the face of fierce Conservative opposition, yeah. so will the Prime Minister, uh, given that he delivered on the pitch last night, will the Prime Minister give him the best thanks possible by delivering free school meals for every child living in poverty? Yeah. 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 Prime oh, uh, Mr. Speaker, we're supporting almost two million children with free school meals. We also last year invested hundreds of millions of pounds in the new holiday activity and food programme, which is broadening that support through the holiday days for those kids who need it, on top of our work to roll out breakfast clubs across the country. Yeah. Clearly stumped our loss for words Prime Minister, didn't she? Neither did he really answer the question or any sharp reply back after. Just basically punted the, we are supporting two million children with free school meals. I didn't say which children he was supporting, but it children in poverty or those that go to rifle and rowing clubs. Then spouted on about uh, investing threepence halfpenny to the holiday and food programme on top of breakfast club drivel, and then just sat down on a bell tapper. But yeah, I do agree with one thing: Marcus Rashford did receive loads of slaver from MPs from this extreme Brexit Tory government for wanting to help feed poor, hungry children, didn't he? I personally thought it was a cracking little jibe that led to a very important question. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below, and I say, I say, I say, I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Sorry, I do apologise. <laughs>